In this video, we'll dive into the key features of the Packer I.O. user interface, focusing on user experience, accessibility, and navigation. The Packer I.O. interface was designed after extensive research with both novice and experienced users who often deal with UV packing. Our aim was to simplify the process, streamlining the workflow to cut out tedious clicking and complex menus. The result is a user-friendly and efficient interface that even beginners can master without a tutorial. Packer I.O. makes UV manipulation easy, fluid, and distraction-free, significantly enhancing the traditional, labor-intensive UV workflows. When you load an object in Packer I.O., it automatically fits optimally within the viewport. The default viewport navigation mimics Blender's style, but you can switch to other navigation modes to match your preferred 3D application's behavior. This is done easily through the Settings menu. Navigating your object and UV map in Packer I.O. is straightforward. Press and hold the Shift key and the middle mouse button to pan. To orbit, press, hold, and move the middle mouse button. Zooming is done by scrolling the mouse wheel, and for a smooth, fluid zoom, hold the Control key and the middle mouse button, then move the mouse up or down. To customize keyboard shortcuts in Packer I.O., head over to the Settings menu. To modify keyboard shortcuts for actions like loading objects, saving, or toggling wireframe or seam overlays, just click on the button that shows the current shortcut. Then, press the key you want to assign as the new shortcut. This change is immediate and will be saved as your default shortcut for future use. Selecting objects in Packer I.O. for UV packing is simple. If your object consists of only one entity, it's automatically selected for UV packing and no further action is needed. Just press the Pack button to pack all the contents of the scene. Remember, whether no objects or all objects are selected, the result is the same. Everything gets packed. If your object includes multiple sub-objects, you can select them individually with a click. To select multiple sub-objects, hold the Shift key and click on each sub-object you want to include. Selected sub-objects will be highlighted in a different color. Only these highlighted sub-objects will be considered for UV packing, while the rest will be ignored. The Pack menu in Packer I.O. is a dedicated tool designed to streamline the UV packing process for your objects. This flexible, user-friendly widget can be floated and placed anywhere on your screen, making it easy to fit into your specific workflow. For added convenience, especially for left-handed users, the widget can be repositioned to any side of the screen. If you prefer, you can dock or minimize the pack menu to the side of the viewport, where it will remain as a fixed panel within your workspace. Packer I.O. simplifies the UV packing process with its automatic system, which means there's no need for manual interaction with objects or UV results. Instead of using split screens that reduce viewport size, it features the unique para viewport method. This allows you to view and inspect the geometry and UV map separately, utilizing the entire viewport space for a clear, uncluttered display. After packing UVs, the parallax moves the result to the foreground. Easily switch between the 3D object view and the UV wireframe view using the switcher button, located at the bottom of the viewport in Packer I.O. For even quicker access, you can press the space bar or double click the right mouse button. Thank you for watching. Download the Free Packer IO app from uvpacker.com and explore more tutorials covering the features and workflow of Packer IO. See you next time.